everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Gary. I'm sticking my neck on the line today. I believe England are going to win the Euros and here are my five reasons why I think that's going to happen. So just before we get into the video, I just want to share with you every Sunday now, I am doing a live stream on this channel talking about all things England every Sunday, 7.30pm. That's UK time. The first one was last week. It went really well. It was great to have so many people there. We'll be discussing everything Euro 2024 and England moving into the tournament and into the summer. So hit that subscribe button and join me on my live streams. So my five reasons for England winning the Euros are number one, the squad. England have an absolute embarrassment, embarrassment of riches available to them. Arguably the best team in Europe and arguably the world. Now, some of you may be coming at me for that. And I think rightly so. There's plenty of debate when you get into those top two, top three teams. England are definitely within that discussion, within that group. At the Euros, it is very much between England and France. Both squads are very strong indeed. But with the likes of Jude Bellingham absolutely ripping La Liga to pieces. Harry Kane at Bayern Munich setting new records in the Bundesliga. Bukayo Saka, who seems to have been one of the best young players in the world for forever. Now he's that good. Sprinkling a bit of Trent Alexander-Arnold, Declan Rice, Jack Grealish. The list can go on and on and on. An England squad really is so strong. And some of these players aren't actually going to even start for England at the Euros. Some would argue that England's defence is the weakest area, but when you crunch the numbers England's defence isn't really all that weak we have more right backs than most teams have outfield players the goalkeeper is incredibly experienced at this level and does a fantastic job currently has the highest number of clean sheets in the Premier League as we speak and England's centre-back pairings if they're fit they're an experienced pairing so England's defence isn't really that bad so my first reason is England's squad it's as simple as that it is deep it is full of quality and there's some truly world-class players leading the line for England. And that brings me nicely onto my second point, and that is experience of these players. Most of these players will be in their second, if not their third tournament under Gareth Southgate. All of these players, including the manager, have been here before. They've been in semi-finals of World Cups, in finals of the European Championships. They know what to do in these situations, and everything's there now. That real deep depth of experience that you need to win a tournament with that young exciting talent coming through. If you look at club level, most of England's players have succeeded tremendously over the past 12 to 18 months. A huge contingent of the potential squad that Gareth Southgate is going to take will have already won the UEFA Champions League, despite many of these players being around 25 or younger. They've all been at major tournaments for international football before, and it just feels like now all these previous years have been leading to this moment, and everything is there now. England have the experience from their players up to their management and backroom staff to finally win a major tournament. The third reason for England winning this tournament in my eyes is simply Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham is he going to be the difference finally for England in bringing that trophy home? Many people are predicting that Jude Bellingham will be a Ballon d'Or winner this year. He's certainly well on his way, isn't he? He's playing absolutely fantastic for Real Madrid. And all teams need them. All teams need that one key player that stands out for them, that makes them separate against those other teams that are similar to them. Jude Bellingham is England's potential star player of this tournament. Now is his time. I know we had him for the World Cup against France, but was it just a tournament? A little too soon, a little too early for him. Now he's had that move at Real Madrid. He'll have had a year under his belt playing the highest standard of football in one of the best teams in the world. And I think this is going to be Jude Bellingham's tournament. The beautiful thing for England, though, is that they also have a truly outstanding second world-class player in Harry Kane. So if one isn't doing it, the other certainly will. And I think both of them together are going to guarantee England's success. The fourth reason, the most controversial yet, is the lack of challengers in regards to this European Championship. Germany, as we all know, are not on the best of form. They're at home, so we may need to park that. Italy, the defending champions, still not qualifying for World Cups and even struggled to make this tournament. The Netherlands, still not the team that they used to be. Spain, you would argue, may be looking good, but still really not at the heights they were setting 10, 15 years ago. Portugal may be there or thereabouts, but really, there is only two teams at the minute that most people are backing to win. 
in this tournament and that is England and France. I would back England against any team, including France. I really would. So I think England are just coming good as other European teams are starting to slip. And I think that is going to be the catalyst for England to finally win the European Championships. And my final reason, and I'm taking a moment because this is the most controversial by a long way and this will split you all down the middle. My fifth reason for England winning this tournament is Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate is by an absolute country mile England's best manager in over 50 years. Alongside that he now has three tournaments with England behind him. He is a manager with international experience. He has done everything he possibly can do in the previous tournaments. Think about it. Harry Kane, penalty miss in the quarterfinals. Nothing Gareth Southgate can do about that. And I would argue England were better than France in that game. I've said that numerous times on this channel. England were only a penalty shootout away from winning the Euros last time. Again, it's out the manager's hands by that point. And it took added time for Croatia to beat England in Gareth Southgate's first tournament in charge. It is very rarely since Gareth Southgate has took charge that we go out of a tournament because of Gareth Southgate. It comes down to those five margins in those tight games and let's be honest the England players previously under Southgate with the penalty misses haven't met that challenge they have struggled it is the players that haven't enabled England to go on and win those matches nothing to do with Southgate's preparation or man management yes there were arguments to suggest that we could have been a little bit more offensive against Croatia in Italy to kill the game but it still came down to those fine margins and I think Gareth Southgate genuinely will be the key to England success and that's the beauty of it because I think other fans of other nations see him as our main weakness including some England fans I don't see that as the case I think his experience at this level now and the way he's proved himself in previous tournament tells me that Gareth Southgate is the right man to lead England to Euro 2024 glory so that's it what are your thoughts let me know in the comments below a few controversial ones in this one definitely I genuinely believe this is England's time it does feel different this time I'll say uh, I didn't say this. Did I say this? No, I didn't say this before the World Cup. I don't know. Maybe I did. But this genuinely does feel different. This is England's time. Thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you all on my next video.